don't know that your that your dad was Palestinian. Um, yeah, and because, a refugee. Yeah, and yeah. a refugee because that's that's not that's not your identity. Your identity is an American. That's right. Yeah, and you know I'm proud of my background. Um, I really um, was shaped very much by my background and by my dad's experience. In fact, I would say that one of the reasons I'm a libertarian is largely due to my dad's experience um, of being a refugee and coming to the United States. And my mom is also an immigrant from Syria. Um, and, and that really shaped who I am and, um, and is probably the reason I love America so much and am so proud to be an American and um, am so inspired by the system we have here, our constitution, our um, our Declaration of Independence, uh, the ideals that it represents. I, I think it was largely shaped by my background. Um, but my parents and um, especially my dad growing up really emphasized um, we are Americans and we're proud to be here and we are so thankful to this country for giving us this opportunity, um, the opportunity for my brothers uh, and, and I to be born here in the United States, um, it's just, uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Could, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, your parents' journey? Your dad was, wh what was he running from? Well, uh, Cause refugee yeah. implies that he, that he had to get out, right? Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he, there was a war going on there. Yeah. Um, this was 1948 and, um, he was in the middle of a conflict and uh, there was a conflict between, um, uh, you know, uh, many Jews coming in and um, many Muslims and Christians, which were the um, smallest population there, um, uh, at least of those three groups, were largely, um, you know, bystanders. So uh, they were affected by the conflict, but and nobody really, you know, wanted them around. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there they were uh, living there and they basically weren't sure whether this was a safe place to be. Um, they uh, fled their homes out of fear. Um, you know, I, I remember my dad telling me that they were, um, you know, removed from their homes at gunpoint and told, hey, you know, uh, you shouldn't be here. This is not safe for any of you. That's a fairly clear <laughs> signal. Yeah, you, yeah. you, um, you know, you Christians, you don't want to suffer the fate of other people. So it's time to get out of here. Yeah, and and they fled. Yeah, and uh, um, correct my history, but a, a church in Grand Rapids sponsored your dad or both your parents? well. It wasn't. A, it was in uh, close to Grand Rapids. It was a church in Muskegon. Okay, and uh, it was a minister and his wife sponsored um, my dad's family okay and um uh, it was called church of the brethren and they and the the uh, family was called the Wagner, the fact the wagner family and uh, my dad still stays in touch with them and um you know they they were looking to sponsor a christian family to come to the united states they wanted to sponsor um someone from the middle east and and uh, from from Palestine, and you know, my dad's father was not an educated man, uh, and um, you know, not an certainly not an expert in a lot of things. But he knew one thing, which is, if he can get to the United States with his family, that was the best thing for them, and um, that was the most important decision uh, for our family. You know, the fact that. Um, he made that decision as, as little as he may have known about like, you know, um, about the world. And, and, um, he knew if I go to the United States with my family, they'll have an opportunity yeah. and, and I'm, uh, experiencing the blessings of that now. Yeah. The, the American dream. <laughs>